Welcome to the Burton Ballers. Ain't got no time for no stallers. Yeah. We are the risers. We're not the fallers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah. We're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to another edition of... Of Burton Ballers. So, Ben... <sighs> Chillwell. <laughs> how, how you doing? Uh, how you doing? I'm chilling. Just You're chilling. Well. I'm just chilling. You? I'm well. You well? <laughs> okay, cool, cool. So, it's all about Ben Chillwell today. So before but, we get into all about Ben Chillwell... Don't forget to... Like this video. Could get a video to 150 likes. I know it's a big like goal. Um... Subscribe to the channel and turn on all post notifications so you'll get a notification when we make a video. Um, share this video and comment down below. Good, good. So we're doing a special transfer daily. As I said, we usually do these Monday to Friday, but when news comes in, we report. And I put it up in our yes. community page yesterday. We couldn't do a video on it earlier um, due to our religious beliefs, so we don't do anything before late on a Saturday. Right. On a Friday, yeah, so so that's why we're putting it out today. So, anyway, um, going on to this Ben Chilwell story, news broke around about eight o'clock last night that um, Chelsea had made a breakthrough in negotiations and Ben Chilwell was packing his bags. There. Apparently Leicester were at a training camp and he was packing his bags, heading down to discuss terms with Chelsea. And this came from a reliable source, a Leicester source. And, um, good, and yeah, so uh, apparently a, a fee, we're, we're, not, we're still waiting for the details, Zane, but like I'm hearing... Habit, it just came overnight, just... Yeah, I don't just know like a were, were talks with us, and we're always, we're looking at alternatives, the likes of Regalan, the likes of Tagli Vico. I wonder how much we're going to pay for him, so like, no, 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 the deal is, is, wait, I'm coming to that. So, um, I'm hearing that it's 50 million. So that's expensive. Plus add-ons of 15, so it could potentially take the deal up to 65 million. That's a lot. No, 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 but look at it. Look at it as a deal for 50 million. And if we end up paying 65 million, I won't mind. You know why? What? Because we usually need... when you have add-ons, they usually have stipulations. So for instance, if you look at what happened with the Hazard deal, um, we, we had a specific deal. I think oh, we yeah, paid 80, 9 league. million. If they won the league, there's another 15 million, I think it was. Like if we won the million. Champions League, which, why don't you win the Champions League Real Madrid? You've got more money. Oh, then you get more money. I'm not sure if it's over a certain, over that season Wait, how much or do you over win they got two or three seasons. Um, I thought we got another 15 million. But <laughs> sometimes it could be over two or three seasons that these um, add-ons and things are, are, are put added in. But you know what? If it means, even if it said if Chelsea win the league within the next two or three years, then they'll get extra money. Or if Chelsea win the Champions League, then they get extra money. That means we've been successful. So if the deal eventually does work out to be 65 million, then you know what? I won't mind. So I said before, anything higher than 50 million, then I wouldn't. Because I think he's a good player. A lot of people don't rate him, but I rate him as a good player. But I always, yeah, he does. And he's, he's, he's fast. He can go up and down the pitch pretty quick. He's, you know, so his defending is quite good. Sometimes, I remember he got destroyed by Mares the other day against Man City. But everyone has a game where they get um, destroyed by a wing at a time. It doesn't make you a bad player. You know, and there are some people who are putting a compilation of some of his bad things on Twitter. Well, it's easy oh, to make Twitter, a player look bad. Exactly, that's why like you can make a player look no good. One's, nobody's perfect. Like, you can always just put in the good bits of them or yeah, the bad bits. Exactly, like, that's why YouTube isn't a barometer, because YouTube are always putting in the good things of the players, and you're thinking, wow, let's sign him. That's why everyone wants to sign the likes of Regalon and, like, and people like that. Do but, little skills. Yeah, exactly. So if you're making a video, I can make a video of Alison looking bad, or Salah. Look yeah. how many times Salah misses one-on-ones. Yeah, you know. say if I'm like, um, he just does like um, a skill and then he just loses the war after, so like, the skill doesn't do anything, but he yeah. just cut it out. But yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. So, 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 and you know what? Carrying on from the, for the Spencer World deal, uh, we've got some, I, I don't call them supporters, because for me, I've, I've looked on Twitter today and there are some people who have been threatening Ben Chilwell. Shame on you, shame on you. 
picture, and there's some people with, with a picture. I hate when they do that. You know, with a kick picture, and they cross him out. You know, they put a cross in a picture, like we don't want him. And they, some even put a cross by Frank Lampard because he's getting Ben Chilwell instead of the exotic left back, what they want. Yeah? So, you know what? Okay. He's you, not manager, he's disrespectful. Exactly. Not manager, like Okay, he may, he may not be your number one choice, but if he comes to Chelsea, you support him. If you don't want to support players who come to Chelsea, then I think you should find another he's, club. He's one of our own now, man. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it, As it, I it, said, yeah, he wasn't my number one choice, but if he does come, I'm going to support it's him. It's an improvement yeah. to a long time at Emerson. Come on, like, yeah. and bro, if I put Kepa there, it'll still be an improvement. <laughs> uh, you're going to be getting into far, right? a, bit but, of, a bit, a tad bit. Yeah, tad. But, but you know what? For, for me, as I said, I, I always like to judge a player once they come to the club, yeah? I, I, I give them, even when, I don't care who they are, sometimes I may not like a particular player, but you, I say, you know what? I'm not gonna give that player any stick until he plays at Chelsea. If he plays and he becomes like another Alonso or Emerson, then yeah. Cause you don't have a tactic about Frank Lampard. That's what I'm saying. Him. Then he deserves all the stick. You know, I, get, I critique, or we on this channel, don't we? We just critique players based on performances, not on agendas. So some people, I think we've given this guy a chance. So he could be having a fantastic game one day and he makes one mistake and they'll be on his case saying he's useless and all like that. You're, and like literally, he, he makes a mistake, he, he loses the ball, then someone shoots, the goalkeeper saves it. 10 minutes later, they go to score. They'll be like, oh, you have a terrible game. <laughs> yeah. So that's just, what, yeah, yeah. You, you, get, you can yeah. see the goal. Yeah, so can we stop these stupid agendas, whether it be against the player or the manager, guys? Because it's, 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 what, what does it prove? What does it prove? It's just counterproductive, yeah? So um, give him a chance if he's joining. Give the lad a chance, you know. Yeah, giving him, what, threatening things, don't join my club and all that. Yeah. That's Isn't it clearly not your club if you don't if you don't accept any players? Right? That's right. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah. You have to be so, closer together. Uh, yeah. I'm, for, I'm so I'm supportive. If, if Frank wants him and he's, he's, you know Frank sees him in his plans and he can be an improvement on that left hand side, then yes. Okay. Maybe you may not get Regalon. Uh, some people actually that makes me laugh as well because Regalon. Um, a few weeks ago, a lot of people hadn't even heard of it. At least I put my hand up and said, I don't know anything about this player. But they've probably watched again, going back to YouTube, watched a few um, things on him on YouTube, watched a few stats on him and thinking that, yeah, he's the one we want, you know, because they're so react re reactionary, some people. One minute, it's he's a flavor of the month. Last time, it was Tagliafico that everyone wanted. And before that, it was um, Tellez, you know, so, and, I don't understand this obsession. Um, I'm not sure if it's not because people don't like English players. The same with Mason Mount and other people. If we play for, I don't know, but because they come from England, they're not good enough. But because we Spanish don't, place. yeah, Spanish or Brazilian or some other exotic place that they come from, then those are the ones that they want. You know, they they don't want the the, the, the English player. Local but talent. you know, as I said, look at him. He's he's, he's fast, tick because. He's, he's, he's got a great cross tick, he can score a goal tick. He's not bad defensively. He talks, yeah? And maybe what Frank's trying to look for is um, for com better communication. Maybe he's looking for two or three Ian players at the back who speak the same language as well. So, yeah, and he, yeah, because I've seen him at Leicester, he's quite vocal and he's demonstrated some leadership qualities. So, for me, yeah, yeah so I'm judging. True, because if you were to think quick, you'd think quick in English, right? Mm. Yeah, so I'm going to judge this boy if and when he comes, yeah? So How old is he even? He's 23, so he's, he's the right age young, as well. So don't get me wrong, if he puts in bad performances, I will give him constructive criticism, and there's nothing wrong with that. So expect constructive criticism if you are not cutting the... But I'll give you a chance, yeah? I'm not writing you off from day one. I'll see how you play, how you you know, how you know, perform for us. Then I will then if you perform make for us. the judgments. Hopefully. So, guys, let us know what you think about him, please. And be respectful, you know? Did you want him? If you don't want him, give us the reasons why. If you do want him, tell us what he brings to the table. So just give us your comments and we'll be really happy to um, engage with you once you um, send us your, your information. And guys, don't forget to... Like this video, subscribe to this channel and turn on all post notifications so you never follow me video. Share this video, comment down below and keep a blue flag flying high. Okay then, until the next time, see you later.